We are back on this year's garden. I'm just doing a second till here where I want to plant the potatoes, kind of moving everything around again from last year. Uh, we got almost an inch and a half of rain yesterday, and uh, now today it's dry and sunny. Tomorrow is supposed to be dry and sunny, so I wanted to till this one more time and get those weeds up, and maybe a few more of them die off. Okay everyone, well we're obviously back out the next day to plant the potatoes. I'm doing um, every two feet apart the plants, but I want my rows to be three feet apart. They kind of tend to come up wherever and I really can't stand it when I can't walk between the rows somewhat. All right, so the first ones I want to plant are these purple ones because they're kind of neat. Uh, I'm gonna, some of these do have two eyes, so I'm gonna split them. And I just kind of wanted to take a peek at these. Look at that, looks like a beet. <laughs> you can even make purple mashed potatoes, I believe. That is really neat. So a couple of these I'm gonna split. And some of them I have to leave whole. All right, so now I'm just gonna plant them with the eye up. And now with these potatoes here, these are a long season one. My other ones are usually about 60 or 70 days. These are gonna run 100 days or so. So, I mean, I can pick them any time, uh, you know, and get smaller potatoes. But if I want big potatoes, I'm gonna to have to wait. So I'm glad we're getting them in early. All right, this next row here, I'm gonna do white. This is a Superior is the type, it's an early season white. So this will be one of them 60 to 70 or 80 day potatoes. With these here, now I'm not splitting them, cutting them in two because I've got so many of them. I've got more than I need to make this row. This next row here, I'm going to do reds. This is a red Lasota. It's a late season red. Usually I do an early season and I'm going to do some of my own potatoes from last year. I'll show you that in a minute. But I, I, I like trying different kinds and I've never grew this kind before, so I'm going to get these in.
Well, this is going to be my last row. I'm just going to do four rows. That is way more potatoes than I can even eat in one year anyway. This here is what I have left from last year. There's probably, I don't know, there's 25 or 30 pounds of potatoes right here. And I brought down south to Louisiana probably 25 pounds of potatoes down there also. So you can see I eat a lot of potatoes too. And uh, I just grow more than I need. And <laughs> these are definitely ready to be planted. If I really would have wanted to, I could have just planted all my own potatoes and not even bought any sets. So it's truly self-sustaining to keep these and you could keep growing them. But since they're available and I like to try different kinds every year, um, that's why I went and bought some other ones. But I do want one row of these just to see how these grow compared to the other ones. You don't even have to keep these separated. You can clearly see that this is a white potato and these are reds over here. everybody well thanks a lot for watching all the potatoes are planted now next up will be the onions that'll be the next video